Well, before me getting diagnosed with diabetes, I honestly didn't even know the word diabetes or anything. So I kind of felt like when I got it, I felt like I was one of the only people in the world that had it. I basically found out I had diabetes at the age of 12. I was I was in a diabetic coma. I would say for probably about I think it was 3 days or 4 days. I'm not sure. My mom would be so stressed out when she would come see me. Sometimes she would just like cry and I would basically kind of be lost. Like, I didn't even know what was going on with me. And I remember there was this one doctor. <clears throat> I don't really remember her name. I remember asking her why I was sick. I was in the hospital. Well, when I got out of the ICU, I was in the hospital or whatever. And then I was like, I have diabetes, right? She was like, yes, honey, you have diabetes. I was like, by any chance, will this go away? She was like. Sweetie, I promise you, it would never go away. I was like, really? She was like, yeah. And I was just like, whoa, this is crazy. I was scared. I was really scared. But then, like, when I got to the hospital, and I was on insulin for probably about... Probably about four months. I'm not really that sure, but it wasn't that long. I got off of insulin the same year I got diabetes. It was tough to do. And like, basically, I was on a solid diet. It was like, they basically want you to be on a good diet, but it's, they don't want you to feel like you're starving yourself. They just want it to like feel like you're a normal child. I felt that way kind of at the beginning it was kind of hard but then I got used to it and I kept doing that so I could get off the insulin and just keep my blood sugars leveled and I would be on the insulin and just like try to make sure I would get off of it but basically that was really hard that was the hardest part